iOS 15 brings drag and drop to iPhone. This gives you the ability to quickly grab one or more photos from a web browser, image search or camera roll and move it to a message or notes application super easy. It also enables you a faster way of copying and pasting any text from one place to another and even text from the live text camera mode. There's many other uses for this including dragging and dropping files from one app to another. Let's see how iOS 15 drag and drop works on iPhone. Of course, first of all, you'll need to have installed iOS 15 on your iPhone. So do that first if you haven't already. Then we'll start by demonstrating how to drag and drop photos. Let's say we want to show a friend what kiteboarding is. So after a Google image search, I see a photo I think represents the sport well. Then I simply tap and hold on this image. It brings up some options here, but as soon as I move my finger around, I can drag the photo around like so. Now, providing I keep my finger on the screen here, I can then navigate through my phone with a second finger until I find where I want to put it. So I'll swipe up, go to my messages app and drag and drop this image into the message field. As you can see, that message with that image is now ready to send. This saves me the longer process of having to tap and hold the image, save it to my camera roll, opening up attachments in my message app and selecting the photo to send it. It gets better though. Say I want to select multiple images. So again in the browser, I first select one photo, then I can scroll down and add additional photos like so. Let's choose these ones here. Then when I swipe back into the Messages app, I can add this whole stack of photos all at once. This method also works for photos and videos in your camera roll. So we can select one or more photo or videos here, and this time, let's place it into a new note in the Notes application. It's as easy as that. Similar to photos, we can drag and drop text from anywhere to another place. So for example, here we are on the Apple iOS 15 page, and I can highlight all the text here like so, then tap and hold it to move it around, similar to with the photos, and drag and drop it into another app. By the way, check out all about FaceTime portrait mode in the video right here. You can also use a combination here. So let's highlight this text, grab it, then add a photo to it like so. Then I can drag and drop this whole stack to say the notes application again. On the topic of live text, iOS 15 also just introduced this feature and it works with drag and drop as well. Live text means that if I have text in a photo on my camera roll, I can just tap and hold on the text or website in a photo and copy and paste or even drag and drop the live text into another application like this. And of course, you can check out this video to learn more about the iOS live text feature. You can also drag and drop files around from one location to another. For example, files inside your iCloud can be drag and dropped into a message or again, say the notes app. Although I find the drag and drop photo and drag and drop text to be way more useful. There's a lot of great features for iOS 15, but watch this video next to learn about the new cinematic video mode that has been brought to iPhone 13. It's just another reason why maybe you should upgrade to a new phone. I'll see you there. Although I find the drag and drop feature, although I find the drag and... This means that if I have text in a photo on my camera roll,